Tiger and Cat channel. Please do remember subscribe, like and share. Thank you. This is our last experiment, experiment 6 for this semester, pH measurement and its application. So based on this diagram, you notice pH is from pH equal to 1 until pH equal to 14. Okay, so you can notice right, tomato with pH 4 and then milk with pH 6, pure water is pH 7, which is neutral. And the alkaline solution or alkaline substance in included broccoli, bleach, so and one molar sodium hydroxide so are you ready with this experiment let's start this slide is different solution having different ph value so you can try to have a look lemon juice ph2 water ph7 and then bleach around ph13 before we discuss the exercise for this experiment, make sure you have watched this video okay, which is made by lecturer from Unit Chemia KMPK. This experiment, there are three parts. The first part is determine the pH of acid and base solution. Second part is determine pH of salt solution. And then the third part is determine of the dissociation constant of weight acid KA. Okay. So the first question, what is pH? So, pH is a measure of acidity or basicity of a solution and defined as negative logarithm of hydrogen ion concentration or hydrogenium ion. So, you can represent the formula pH equal to negative concentration H+. Plus. Next, how to determine pH in the laboratory? Okay, if you refer to a lab manual, right, all of this right, is the apparatus or chemical reaction that can determine the pH. So in general, we can use pH paper and the universal indicator or using pH meter. Then what are the difference between strong acid and weak base? You have to bear in mind that strong acid dissociate completely in an aqueous solution to produce high concentration of hydronium ion, 100% ionized, while weak acid dissociates slightly or partially in an aqueous solution to produce low concentration of hydronium ion. What is buffer solution? Actually, there are two types of buffer solution, acidic buffer solution or basic buffer solution. So a buffer solution consists of a weak acid and its conjugate base salt. So this is for acidic buffer solution. Or weak base and its conjugate acid salt. So this is basic buffer solution. It has the ability to maintain its pH when a small amount of strong acid or strong base is added into it. So the detailed explanation you can refer one of my video which title is buffer solution. Okay, write the expression of Ka for a weak acid. First of all, you must write down the weak acid hydrolyzed in water and then it's a reversible reaction from an A negative anion and hydronium ion H3O+. So when we write down the K expression, the concept still exactly same as Kc can be product over reactant. Ignore liquid, ignore solid. That's why there is only one reactant for this equation. So concentration N negative ion times concentration H3O plus ion over the concentration of HA. So this is the care expression for HA. Okay, suggest suitable indicator for titration between. Okay, so there are three questions you have to suggest indicator. Okay, there are many indicators that can be used. So first, we have to have the idea. Normally for strong acid, strong base, the end point range is between 3 to 11. So any indicator can be accepted except Timo Blue. For weak acid strong base, the end point range is end point pH range around 7 to 11, so phenolphthalein or chrysalis rate is suitable. And strong acid weak base, the end point pH range is 3 to 7. So there are few indicators that we can use: methyl red, methyl orange, bromophenol blue, chlorophenol blue. So after you know this pH range, right, then the question. So nitric acid is a strong acid. So potassium strong base. So any suitable indicator can be useful. I choose phenolphthalein. Identify nitric acid is a strong acid. Ammonia is a weak base. So this combination, methyl orange is a suitable indicator. 
a free strong hydroxide okay so this is strong base hydrocyanide acid so this is weak acid so this combination the suitable indicator can be used is C more blue Okay, state the composition of an acidic buffer solution. This one we mentioned just now. For acidic buffer solution, must have the weak acid and its conjugate base solution. So the conjugate base normally come from the salt. Eh? Okay, next. Classify the following salt as acidic, basic, or neutral salt. So sodium chloride, sodium ethanoate, and ammonium nitrate. So before we answer this question, right, I will uh, give you some idea how the salt is formed. The salt actually is formed from the reaction between acid and base. Then we produce salt and water. So now we have to identify what type of salt will be produced. Okay, let's check the step in solving this problem. First, I will write down the neutralization equation over the type of acid so in this case this is strong base okay the type of acid and base are uh, this is strong acid okay so it produced sodium chloride salt so next is the salt dissociation equation okay please take note uh, here one way arrow one way arrow so it will form sodium plus plus cl negative over here we know that Sodium hydroxide and hydrochloric acid both are strong base and strong acid which means it will produce a weak conjugate acid or weak conjugate base which will not undergo salt hydrolysis or, or hydrolyzed in water Therefore, the salt solution of NaCl will be neutral because there is no production of hydroxide ion or hydronium ion so with pH 7 So the answer is sodium chloride is a neutral salt Next, sodium acid, ethanol acid. This is the reaction between ethanol acid and strong base, sodium hydroxide. So then from the salt, which is sodium ethanol, okay, and water. Now the salt undergoes salt dissociation and then forms sodium plus ion and CH3, COO negative, and ions ethanol ion. From here, since sodium is from strong base, so it will produce a weak conjugate acid. And then ethanol ion is from weak acid, so it becomes strong conjugate base. We can hydrolyze the water to produce ethanol acid and hydroxide. The produce of hydroxide, right? Okay, proven that this is a basic salt with pH more than 7. Ammonium nitrate. Ammonia is a weak base and then nitric acid is a strong acid so it produces ammonium nitrate okay strong acid will produce a strong strong acid will produce a weak conjugate base and the weak base will produce a strong conjugate acid so this strong conjugate acid can hydrolyze in water so the salt hydrolysis will produce ammonia and H3O plus hydronium ion so this one showing that this is acidic salt with pH less than 7. So can you get the idea how to identify the strong, uh, basic salt, acidic salt or neutral salt? Next, list out all precautions of this experiment. First of all, you must take note for the burette always in two decimal places. And then pH paper after you test with the solution must be matched exactly as the color show on the pH meter box. And then before we start the experiment, we must calibrate the pH meter before we use it. Huh? Okay, and then there are three questions for the analysis part. First, you have to the first question is calculate the pH of ionization of 0.1 molar and 1.0 molar acidic acid with pH 2.87 and pH 2.37 respectively. Meaning that this question there are two calculation parts. First is 0.1 molar with pH 2.87. Another one is 1 molar with 2.37. So as usual, we need to form the ice table. Before we form the ice table, make sure you write down a proper equation in a balanced way. Okay, reversible arrow. So initially, this is 0.1 product, nothing. Negative x, positive x, positive x for the product side. Okay, and then 
uh, initial plus change so you can get 0.1 minus x x x okay so first you have to write down the okay i will encourage you all right now the k a expression uh. so the k expression is okay i'm using my mouse to write down this one product over reactant so it's ph3 3OO negative times H plus okay. and then over the reactant which is H3 3OOH so this is the pair expression now you have to substitute the pair expression okay so meaning that here is X times X over 0 0.1 minus X so in this case, we know that okay, the concentration of H plus actually is equal to X. Okay. So since we know the pH, right? So we can calculate the concentration of H plus by shift log negative 2.87. So please uh, jot down, uh, jot down by yourself. Shift log. Okay, uh, shift log because it's anti log. Uh. Shift log. A negative 2.87 then you will get this concentration remember the unit okay once you get the concentration of H plus now the question asks about I percentage of ionization ionization is X over C so X over C, C is the initial concentration by 100 you get 1.348% so this is the way to solve the problem huh? okay you're using the same method proceed for second part which is one molar acidic acid with pH 2.37 to get the answer 0.424% the concept exactly the same but this one is changed to 1 okay and then the concentration for this pH uh, for this concentration is 2.37 so the x value is different okay so x over c times 100 you get 0.424% question asks how does the percentage of ionization change with its concentration? So you compare this 2.87, this one is 2.37. Okay, and then this is the percentage of ionization. Did you notice that when the pH okay uh, pH increase? Okay, pH increase uh, means higher concentration. Uh, no 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 lower concentration because acid uh, That's all for this video. Please remember, subscribe, like, and share. If you have any question, please don't hesitate to consult with your lecturers. Stay at home, stay safe. Bye!